28th annual Fishing for Kids tournament was recently held at the West Coast Fishing Club in the Haida Gwaii Islands. A major fundraiser benefiting the Canucks Autism Network brings together participants of all ages and skill levels. Canucks forward Dale Weiss experienced ocean fishing for the first time. And he had a pretty good partner to ride with in former Canucks forward and avid fisherman Brendan Morrison. He can tell you obviously everything about where to catch fish and, and what, so he's pretty much the you know, like having a guide there, so it's been awesome. He's a gamer, he's, uh, he's staring intently at his rod there. He's almost going cross-eyed staring at us so hard, but uh, he's doing a good job out there. Like I fished before, obviously not to this extent, but uh, it's so extreme. The guides have it down to an absolute science of, uh, you know, the difference between 47 feet and 50, which to me, I, I wouldn't know the difference. So, uh, you know, it's, it's big, it's a lot more, uh, it's, it's harder than, than I thought it would be. And the main reason we're here, I mean, that's, that's kind of the, the bigger purpose. I mean, all that stuff is fantastic, being on the water, but the main reason we're here is for a good cause and, and to raise funds to, to help out uh, families and children that can use some help. Canucks president and GM Mike Gillis spent the trip on the water with assistant GM Lawrence Gilman, and there's no doubt a little friendly competition was on the line. Oh, there is competition with Mike. There is no question about it. Fishing with him is awful for the most part because uh, he doesn't have a clue about what he's doing. This is the third consecutive year that I've placed higher than Mike on the board. Um, he caught a, a fish, but it really wasn't very big. Well, actually, we have a great time, and um, to have an opportunity to support this particular cause is really special to both of us. and. To come here and um, participate is an incredible experience. So, Also on hand, this year's Can Champion child for Eglin and his stepdad Clayton taking part in an activity many families dealing with autism would not normally get to experience. There we go. Wow, it's a beauty. He's going he's gonna to tell everybody back home this fish he's caught. Yesterday it was about uh, three, six foot waves, maybe bigger, and Thor toughed it out. And now today it's a lot calmer and he's got his sea legs. He's good. This takes, uh, for us, that, the last benefits for Thor obviously, but for ourselves, uh, the CAM programs take uh, a huge load off our shoulders, give us a little time to recoup and uh, invaluable. It's such a great cause and when you see um, a father and son here that uh, can use some help and can use some um, support, it's, uh, it's an incredible experience, so it's great. And whether somebody brought in the big one or not, the biggest winner was the Canucks Autism Network, as a record $1.17 million was raised over the three-day event. Whatever amount we can give, it's really not about the money at the end of the day, it's about your heart and how you can get involved and help. And uh, we at Canucks Autism Network want to reach out to families, help all the families living with autism across British Columbia, and with the help of all the people of British Columbia. I was, maybe that's a long stretch, but we can do that. <laughs>